Jen, what is the difference between all three, between a copyright, a trademark, and a patent? I think it's important to understand that all three are forms of intellectual property to protect whatever it is you're creating. And you may want to use all three, but you have to think carefully about how you're going to use them. A copyright is that little C in a circle. So when you write something, you write software code, that is protected by copyright. Something that you create as a patent, if you create it as a, like a, a design, that could also be protected by a copyright. But the copyright's the simplest form of protection. It's a little C with the circle. You always indicate to the world, I wrote it, I created it, I made that statue, I made that piece of art, I took that photograph, I wrote that music. Those are copyrights. Now, a trademark is simply the word, the Coca-Cola, the Nike, the Google, the brand. That is a word, or it could be a picture, it can be an image. That, the difference there is that's just how, what it's called, that's the name. So you're protecting the name, the brand, or the design of a, like a logo. Patent is the most complicated. You have to actually create an invention, an invention that can be a thing, it can be how you make a thing, it can be how you use that thing. And it has to be new and novel, meaning no one else in the industry would have thought of it. So while you may sit there and think, oh, I know uh, no one's thought of this, that's not true. Someone in the world may have. So you need to be spending the time and drafting a patent. And a patent looks complicated because it is more complicated to, to draft. That is, takes a process, it takes time, and you need to exact, tell the world how you actually make something. Then the patent office decides if it's gonna be allowed. So it's a little more complicated. And when someone's looking at their intellectual property, for instance, if you have a product, uh, let's say, we'll kind of go old fashioned, radio. A radio can be covered by all three. It can be the music coming out covered by a copyright, the brand on the General Electric brand that's on the on the radio is is actually a brand name, and then how the actual radio works could be patented, and there could even be a patent on the design. Like say you have a, a design shape that's interesting that's non-functional, so you can have all forms of IP in one object. So that's the interplay and the difference. 